Aquarius. You need to know this right now for April the 5th through April the 6th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for April the 5th through April the 6th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for April the 5th through April the 6th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for April the 5th through April the 6th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Aquarius. Aquarius, these are your cards, honey. So, Aquarius, you have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take-charge type of energy, someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done, and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, or you're wanting to take action. Clarify the King of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the King of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the King of Wands. For Aquarius, it is clarified with the three of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that your ships are here. You can tell me that you're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand or even travel. You could be waiting on this fire sign, okay, or expecting something from this fire sign. You can tell me that, hey, you're wanting to take action to look to see what else is out there, look to expand or even travel. Aquarius, you have the world. Could be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance, a geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Aquarius. Clarify the world for Aquarius. Clarify the world for Aquarius. It is clarified with the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey, to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So Aquarius could be dealing with an Aries. Now you can tell me that, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey, or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool. For Aquarius, clarify the fool. For Aquarius, clarify the fool. For Aquarius, it is clarified with the four of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coin, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coin, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. 
Now, Aquarius, you have three travel cards here, okay? Now, you could tell me that you're keeping it close to your chest that you're thinking about traveling here. You can tell me that you're saving your money to travel. You can tell me that they took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship here and a cycle is closing out and you're closed off, blocked off to this person. Hmm, Aquarius, you have temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So Aquarius could be dealing with a Sag, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise and negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Could be something going on with these coins here. Clarify temperance for Aquarius. Clarify temperance for Aquarius. Clarify temperance for Aquarius. It is clarified with this King of Wands. Who is this person? Who is this person? Ay, ay, ay. Clarify the King of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the King of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the King of Wands for Aquarius. Queen of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the star. This is you, Aquarius. But the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. So Aquarius, this is you. Clarify the star for Aquarius. Clarify the star for Aquarius. What about Aquarius? What about Aquarius? Clarify the star for Aquarius. It is clarified with you, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, the King of Swords. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. So Aquarius, this is you. Clarify the King of Swords for Aquarius. Clarify the King of Swords for Aquarius. What about Aquarius? What about Aquarius? Clarify the King of Swords for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a Ten, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Aquarius, you're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. However, in tarot tens are ending, so you could be coming up out of feeling this sense of betrayal. You know, very well could be dealing with fire here. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. There's some type of betrayal here. And you may just need to heal individually on your own, Aquarius. Yeah, you could be coming up out of feeling this sense of betrayal, but it's a betrayal here. Aquarius, you have the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from your past is in the picture, someone from their past is in the picture, something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Two of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. 
We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Aquarius, listen, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement. Now, Aquarius, this could all be over some type of an agreement from the past here. But there's some type of betrayal let down here, okay? But Aquarius, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia wanting to reunite with this person, okay? I don't see it. You know, this pick out what does not belong. It just seems like this does not belong in this read thus far. You may be going through something here, but you may be having something good come in here. Someone from your past nostalgic feeling someone from your childhood here some type of soulmate connection here to help you in the midst of this aquarius hmm. this is you aquarius the star all right clarify the star flying cards here truth decision clarify the star for aquarius clarify the star for Aquarius. What about Aquarius? What about Aquarius? Clarify the star for Aquarius. It is clarified with the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot for Aquarius. Clarify the chariot for Aquarius. Clarify the chariot. For Aquarius, it is clarified with the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So new love, new start to love, or a blessing here, Aquarius. You know, Aquarius, I feel like you're making a move here towards this blessing, money, assets, resources, property, maybe some type of an agreement from the past or your childhood or whatever, okay? But there's some type of argument, fight, disagreement, some type of drama going on here. Aquarius, you can have this drama going on with a fire sign and something new and positive is coming into your life with someone new or with someone from your past is just a new energy with this person from the past, Ugh, Aquarius, it could also be that this issue that you're having with this person, very well could be a fire sign here, could have something to do with coins here, Aquarius. Get through this, get through the rain. Can you stand the rain? Can you stand the rain? And something positive is on the other side here for you, okay? Because like I said, this part of the read does not belong with this part of the read at all. Hi, Aquarius. You know, someone could be wanting you to hurry up and just settle here. But you're holding back. Hurry up and settle, okay? You may need to wait, okay? Fight it out and wait because you might end up with this blessing, okay? Just, just don't give up. Stand your ground. Don't give up. Stand your ground. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Don't give in. Don't give up. Just keep going, okay? And... Oh, Aquarius, oh, this is read. Aquarius, you need to know this right now for April the 5th through April the 6th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week.